Hello. Come right on in. You're at Father Fish. Nice to have you with us. Taiwan Hurricane Aquatics is in Taiwan. Oh my. How wonderful. Gee whiz. There's so many exciting things happening in in the uh, in the Pacific Rim. Uh, having to do with fish. I mean, it's it's in many ways the the center of the industry. Uh, all of the the super duper fancy arowanas, discus, guppies. Golly day, what else? So many things. There's so many really extraordinary fish. Bettas certainly coming out of the uh, coming out of the Pacific Rim. Taiwan chief among them. So what a wonderful place to be. I have never been. I have never visited. Let me tell you a little story. Uh, Merle Cohen. Merle owned aquatic, uh, aquarium products. He founded it. He started a little store back when I was a kid in the 1950s called the Aquarium. It was down on Greenmount Avenue in Baltimore, Maryland. And I used to go there all the time and visit that shop. It was wonderful. It was rows and rows of fish tanks. A little tiny place. Wasn't big at all. Three tiers of tanks. Might have been four. I think one low, two, three. Yeah, I believe it was four tiers of tanks. One, two, a double row in the middle and a row on each wall. Front of the front of the store to the back of the store. In the back of the store was a glass case that had a few little things in it, really not much. An air pump, a couple of filters, some food. That was it. But boy, did they have fish. Saltwater and freshwater. Back in the 50s, they had saltwater fish. I, I, I uh, was talking to Merle once, got to know him knew him through most of my adult life uh, until he, he passed about, I guess, 15 years ago. He talked about a trip he took to, uh, where in the world was it? Um, it wasn't Taiwan. I have to look at my map. Um, it wasn't Cambodia, north of Cambodia. Golly day, it'll come to me anyway. He visited a, a fish farm because it was very curious to know how they were breeding neon tetras. Because the, the, the back then, this was in the 60s, people had been trying and trying and trying and just couldn't do it. So he finally got out to a farm where they were breeding. And he talked to the owner and said, that he wanted to learn how to do this. So the farmer sent him out to a part of the farm where there was a, a huge long row of tanks, several tiers of tanks, vats on the bottom, smaller tanks on the top. That was probably a hundred yards long, tank after tank after tank after tank. And there was a child, a little child on a platform was walking up and down that platform with a little net. And he went over there with his interpreter and said, what are you doing? He said, oh, I'm, I'm breeding the neons. What, how are you doing that? He said, well, look, see, there's one skinny one and one fat one. And that was it. A skinny one and a fat one. They did this late in the day, and then the next morning when he was back there, he was taking them out, and it, there were eggs on the bottom. And they hatched the eggs, fed them microscopic uh, uh, paramecium. They developed paramecium culture. It's a very popular common food for baby fish. That's all there was to it. A skinny one and a fat one. A skinny one and a fat one. Put them together, you do enough of them, you're going to get eggs in a few hundred times what you started with. 
and that was the system. So, you know, it's not always complicated and sophisticated. Sometimes it's as simple as a skinny one and a fat one. <laughs> well, I hope you found something you've never seen before. Have a great day. Nice area with us. Come on back. <laughs>